empower, empower, empower. Let's empower our body with the most important three Ps, protein, protein, and protein, because that's what you need. You've got to feel your strength with a delicious protein-packed pancake recipe right now. These pancakes are the perfect start to power your day on and off the field. People, Kutler and Jackie have very kindly offered to throw themselves under the bus for us this morning and nervously try their hand at our protein pancakes. Thank you so much for taking us on board. I know you guys are blessed with BMT. Okay, so when these moments arrive, you're going to step up. Whether we get this right or it goes horribly wrong, it's going to be great TV, so I don't mind. Okay, so I think first things, we're going to put this on. Um, and Tiff in the kitchen was saying relatively low heat, so we'll keep it nice and low like that. And then we're going to put you to work. Okay, so um, Piwa, if you can please show the ingredients that are going, we've been practicing our, our beautiful hand gesture. Okay, so we've got yogurt, <laughs> we've got honey, <laughs> we've got vanilla essence, we've got protein powder, we've gone protein. for, yeah, and that's whey protein, but you could like do a pea protein yeah. or soy or something else like that. And then of course we've got the baking powder. Um, and then the four eggs that we're going to be using. Who's going to be doing the whisking? I will do the risking. Master chef. You see, he carries the, the scent is always carry the physical load in the back line. Why? Why? Obviously. Okay, so you can start mixing in all the wet ingredients. Um, and as you do that, uh, I've got to ask, because clearly you guys are at a, a stage of training. I mean, everyone is jacked at the moment. The level of physicality in this squad is intense. What does your daily diet look like? Start us with your breakfast. Um, well, usually if I'm at home, I'm starting with a... Uh, overnight oats that I make the evening before and then afternoon usually your carbs your uh, like your green stuff all the things that people don't like um, and but then, the body does yeah <laughs> and then yeah just the protein like red meat or like fish and something like that and evening it's a lighter meal but but mostly the same and, and I suppose you get to a, a, a level pure where you, you you know your body so well you know what you need but you've also got a team of nutritionalists and people weighing in and you've got other players who kind of can help in that regard. How much of a difference does your diet make when you're, especially when you're training, building towards kind of season like this? Like it's really important to put in exactly what your body's gonna need to put out. <laughs> yeah, so, I like that, yeah. <laughs> so you have to listen to the experts because it's easy to say that I'll go on this diet or that diet, but not every diet is good for the kind of sports that we do. So food also plays a really good role in recovery. So what we eat actually helps us to perform at our best ability and to be able to go the next day. That's so meek and gentle, eh? <laughs> uh, Jackie, I thought you were you were going to destroy those eggs, but you're just you're being so <laughs> calm and and loving. I need to credit my mom for teaching me. This. Really? Yeah. <laughs> What's your mommy's name? Uh, Maritza. Maritza yeah. Valkadan. <laughs> um, you nailed it with this one. That's looking good. Um, so now we can mix in our dry ingredients. Um, I, I think the the notion of protein, we you know, we put the muscles through so much when you're doing this kind of training that you need to kind of feed the body and get that strength. But it's uh, it's such a nuanced space. I remember one of, uh, I think it was Bismarck Duplessis talking to me about the difference between two kilograms. If he was two kilograms more than 128 or whatever, yeah. he was too heavy and he wasn't yeah. fast enough. Yeah. But if he was two kilograms below, he wasn't strong enough. So in your position, how do you need to kind of gear up? What are the attributes that you are trying to grow? Because it's a balance of strength and speed all the time. Yeah, you have to just, like um, Yaki said, um, take in the green veggies <laughs> that are going to uh, allow your body to, to feel good. Because I feel like if you do feel good, you will do good. Yeah. And it's really important that in that process, you also make sure that you don't get too heavy because, yes, feeling heavy after eating a lot is very risky because then you're not going to perform at your best ability. So eat right and you'll do right. <laughs> yeah, I love it. You, you're dropping the, the, the memes today. I absolutely love it. She is TikTok ready. She has been rehearsing the TikTok dance and the choreography It's there. I can see it's actually bubbling under. All right, that looks great. Hey, I think that looks really, really good. Um, so what you can do, the recommendation ordinarily when making pancakes or flapjacks or anything is to let it rest a little bit. Um, so it, uh, you know, it becomes a little bit thicker, but we're just going to roll with it because I think it's going to be it's great entertainment over. value. Um, let's pop a little bit of this in there if we can. Um, a... Let's get you a, That's this one a knife for now. Here. There we go. I'll grab a spoon from the other side. Um, <laughs> and we've got a bit of heat going there. And then this is normally where my pancake 
making abilities fall horribly short is I, I just really struggle. So with these flapjacks, I'm hoping you guys have got it. Um, and then we've got our little um, cup there to measure out yeah. and you can drop it in the pan and let it go. I love that. When a camp gets together, um, I'd love to say that you're all on the same side, but there is so much competition, thankfully, within the group that you drive each other forward. Um, so it begs the question, okay, who is the most hangry in the group? Is that, <laughs> I think there is a particular person, but is there that one player that you know, like I'm the kind of guy on set where someone will just shove like a, Something in my mouth, just eat this dude, just please. I'm like, why, why must I eat it, why? Uh, I get very hangry like that. Who, who is that player in the squad? I would like to say Tay, Taylor Kingsley, um, our <laughs> vice captain. Like, she knows that food is ready without being told that the food is ready. Uh, and if the food is not ready, when she believes the food is ready, <laughs> then we have to deal with a different personality that is a little bit scary and cranky. But on a normal day, she's really chill. But you, you almost want to keep her hungry then before a match. Just let that yes, loose on yes, the field. Yes, but again, we might be all at risk, not just the opposition. <laughs> like everyone, so you're just scared to make any mistake because Tay is... She'll come healthy. for you. Yeah. Uh, but every team needs that, man. <laughs> every team absolutely needs that. That being said, who has the strangest rituals? Because I'm blown away by the pre-match and pre-training. I mean, it's crazy. I mean, and I know these things work because that's why they, they exist in sport. But who's the player that has the most kind of out there pre-match ritual, do you think? Maybe Umakawe. I think she's one of, the, she's one of our loud players. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but I think I think everyone has a a different kind of ritual. I mean, me for instance, I shower before every game. So you shower before yeah, every yeah, game. Yeah, I think that's like I don't leave the hotel if we don't shower or anything. So. <laughs> I can just see the full <laughs> bus with one empty seat, and everyone knows. Everyone knows and is waiting. I don't, do you think we can flip them? I think we can flip we them. Can Who's going to give it a try? Okay, go for it, Jax. I think Pure needs to flip it though. Just try one, girl. Oh, look at that. They That's look actually looking lucky. really, really good. Yeah. Oh, oh wow. Well. Yay. This is why we asked backline players to do this. Yes. No, that was rude. Well, oh, sorry, that was very <laughs> rude. Hey, listen, I played hooker at school, so yeah, don't even joke. Don't even joke. I think we are on to something really special here. And again, I, uh, I have to reiterate that you can swap out the protein. We've used a whey protein, but if you want a vegetable protein, I mean, there are some amazing um, protein kind of variants out there. Um, and then you are going to be making about... 30 of these every morning now from, from here on out because the team will demand them. Um, it's been so cool to connect with you. Thank you so much for sticking around and having a little bit of fun with us. I hope you don't crash by 11 o'clock this morning. We'll let you take a bucky with some pancakes. Uh, but please pass our best on to the rest of the team. You guys are doing amazing stuff at the moment. We are so proud of you and we cannot wait to see you test yourself against the best in the world. If I'm getting goosebumps, I, I can only imagine how your hearts must be feeling right now. So thank you so much for being that for us. We love you guys. It's looking absolutely amazing. I think this is what it should look like, which we would have got there. I think given us <laughs> yes. another two minutes, we would have gotten to that exact spot. Would, would either of you like to taste? I'll taste. <laughs> oh, that didn't take very long. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> and we even put a gorgeous little face on it there for you. Here we go. Oh, there you've got your knife. You can even trust the money. Yes, please, Yaki. Oh, Look you that. see. It's this is... backline taking care of each other. That must be it's love, hey? There. That must be love. <laughs> getting to be... <laughs> <laughs> it's the dummy. There, go. there we go. And my our dietitian, I just want to say it's healthy, mm. very healthy. So <laughs> it I is can it's, do it's this. <laughs> made with the three Ps. Um, oh man, well, from these beautiful faces, it seems another beautiful face has stepped into studio. So good to be connecting with this young man. I thought I'd give you an out in case it didn't land, but there it lands beautifully. But we've got another one of our espresso favorites joining us in studio right now.